Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewie 33 Plays Enter the Gungeon. I am Stewie 33. Today, today we're gonna be playing as uh, the Hunter, and uh, we're gonna be doing another blessed run to try to get these elevators banged out. Um, and uh, the reason we're playing as Hunter is because the dog. I think I've settled on the dog being the best item since we need to smash most of the chests anyway. Although I did complete the um, the junk run for uh, the elevator we're currently on. Because we need to smash a chest anyway, that makes the pilot a little bit worse. Although disarming personality is good. Um, and actually I would argue is like about equal with the dog. Since the dog can actually give us keys and make it so I straight up don't just don't have to buy um, keys from the shop at all to like try to get that. Um, I'm, I'm making an argument that I think the dog might be slightly better. Just because it, it has the option to give me keys and money. Uh, both of which we, you know, we, we, we kind of need. So what are we looking for at this one? Well, we need five keys and we need 200 shells. Um, that's the current, uh, ask from Elevator Man to finish the elevator for, uh, the fourth floor. I've already given him a mastery bullet and I've already given him the hedge of, er, and then uh, I have the hedge money he needs because God knows I have the hedge money he needs. Um, so now we just need to kill stuff. And I actually, it's, it's enough, like, a low enough amount of money where I actually don't think that we need to, um, do the full maximum curse run, uh, for the first time. Uh, it's late enough in the game where getting 200 shells is not that hard. Um, and then getting five keys is also not that hard if we're not opening up any chests of any kind. Since we're doing a blessed run, we don't really need open chests, um, at all. Um... Although, I did learn something interesting about, um, about, uh, Lord of the Jam, which is that if you switch floors and you drop below 10 HP between floor, or before, below 10 curse between floors, uh, you actually don't, uh, fight the Lord of the Jammed anymore. I thought that he, cause he kind of harried you for the rest of the game if you hit 10, eight, uh, 10 curse. I keep saying HP cause, like, it, like, it makes sense in my head, but it's not the correct term. Um, yeah, so it, 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 uh, I thought that he would harry you for the rest of the game, but he does not, so there you go. Um, keep in mind that this is a run that's very li unlikely to, um, succeed. Uh, we're not gonna open up any chests, we're also, like, we're not opening up any chests, we're not opening up, um, uh, we're not gonna get any passives, any, like, stuff like that. Most we're gonna get is, uh, Master Shells for getting HP upgrades, and, uh, if we get fortunate and find some chests that aren't, perhaps, like, that aren't locked, um, then we'll be able to open that. And double fact, actually, is if, um, if we end up with, like, a uh, ring of, uh, like, the Mimitooth necklace or something like that, uh, I'll also be able to open up chests, because then I can actually do it without having to waste a key. And, uh, we just need five keys. Five keys is actually kind of a lot of keys. Um... I would expect to get that many as the as the run goes, um, but you know it's it's one of those things that like there are runs I've had where I have got I haven't gotten any keys on the course of the run except in the shop, and so uh, it can kind of get in the way of the other thing that we need to do, which is you know have money. Um, however, if we can get Mimic Tooth Necklace, uh, I might do so, which we can get Mimic Tooth Necklace. Um, there lies the question, right? Like, you know, I don't think it's worth it on the two keys because we need to get five keys, uh, which is kind of a lot of keys. Um, I mean, again, it is by the fourth floor, but it's still kind of a lot of keys. Um, I guess it's the fourth chamber in Gungeon. There's an argument to be made that going down to the Oubliette might be a good idea because it's more opportunity to get more shit. Um, and then doing a, being a blessed run on... On the, uh, the, the Cardinal, the mm, Chapel of the True Gun. There's an argument to be made that that might be the best opportunity to do that. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, for now, we'll just keep getting junk. Uh, I don't, I, I want the Mimith Tooth Necklace, but I don't want to give up 50 shells worth of value for it, if that makes sense. You know, the heroin was a good hit for a minute there. 
Oh, well, looks like I can master bullet. That's actually uh, a little upsetting. And my bad, I should have blanked, but I um, thought I could roll my way out of it, and I rolled the wrong way. So, you know, no use crying over spilt milk at this point, but... Um, I wonder where that adage comes from, because I feel like at any point except for the modern age, spilling milk would be, like, a deadly thing. Because, like, that's, like, part of your food for, like, the month for your family. You know, like, if you're a farmer, you spill the milk, like... I feel like that would like ruin your livelihood for that month. I mean, that's just me. Microtransaction gun needs to go away. The the microtransaction gun is like honestly like one of the worst things that we can get. Uh, I'll double check the shop for a secret room. There's not one. So we go back. Good. All right, let's go out of here. Um. Yeah, the microtransaction gun's terrible. If you're trying to hoard money, the microtransaction gun's bad. Um, because it, it, every bullet costs you a dollar, uh, which is, like, kind of bad. Um, it's a cool, it's an interesting concept for a gun. And, uh, we actually got, um, on the, the one where I completed the junk run, I actually got a ring called, um, oh god, what was it? It was, like, the, like the opulent ring or something like that. And it was basically, uh, money equals power. Um, from The Binding of Isaac. Um... Jesus Christ, okay, I was like, can we get rid of the fucking nail gun, please? Nail gun's awful. The nail gun's only good if you have the hammer, because then it gets, like, bonus damage and the nails pierce, which is, like, really good. Oh, the hammer. I thought we still had the gilded hydra, but I, uh... Did not see. I thought we had the gilded hydra and it needed a reload. It's, like, sitting there, like, spamming the click button trying to get it reload. Wasn't doing it. Phoenix. Alright. The Phoenix is like a gun that I used to think was good until I realized that there are like much better weapons in this game than the Phoenix. Um, I used to think that, you know, trying to get in with the muzzle flare was like totally worth it. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Stop it. Get some help. There's a part of me that wants to take Big Boy. The bottle's also good. Um,. I don't really want to spend more money on keys if we can avoid it. So let's go through the rest of the floor. If we don't get any more keys over the course of this floor, we're starting to approach the territory where, like, unless we get really lucky with, like, a golden shell drop, like, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get the amount of money we needed. Which, you know, mildly upsetting because I would like to, you know, get that. Can we really, can we get off the Phoenix, please? Can we, can we do this? I want to get off the Phoenix, please. The gun's terrible and doesn't do very good damage. Take a crossbow, however, super legit. Um, yeah, we're, we're starting to approach the point where, like, there's no way we're gonna get the money. I'm a little nervous about it. But, you know, it's not that much, all things considered. But, like, we also need to get the keys. If we don't get the keys, like, having the money's not worth it. Because I had, on uh, the one where I got all the junk, I had the keys, but I didn't have the money. So, like, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass, all things considered. Gotta get rid of that fucking shaman, because the shaman is the worst. Alright. See, I see, I see you, NPC room. There's a lot of opportunity to use keys to get some advantage here. Um, I wish we could get, like, Master of Unlocking. That would make this run, like... Then I just have to avoid getting hit, which, I mean, you know, depending on your optimism for who I am as a YouTuber here, uh, may or may not be a possibility. Uh, what do we got? Void Core Assault Rifle? Void Core Assault Rifle is pretty good. Triple round burst. Does actually, like, pretty solid damage. I remember when I used to think that this was the highest damaging weapon in the game. Um, back at, like, the beginning of the Let's Play, where I was, like, it was, like, tearing enemies apart in, like, one burst. And I was like, oh, man, it's so good. How will I ever be stopped? And then I, I found, like, much better weapons. Like, most of the weapons I've unlocked since the beginning of the game are better than most of the weapons I started the game with. Even the barrel. The barrel I rarely see anymore. I love the barrel. 
stuns enemies, does a pretty decent chunk of damage. The only kind of chest we're going to open is uh, if it's red or black. And that's just because if it's a red or black passive chest, uh, those are like, we can get stuff like silver bullets and like really make this run pop off real hard, just like by itself. Uh, it's cut to last episode when I had silver bullets on that full jammed run and uh, still fucked it up. Is that bad? Oh, we got the Deckard Unicron gun. It's the gun from uh, Blade Runner, apparently. And apparently it's used to kill robots. Uh, I've never seen Blade Runner. It's on my list of movies that I need to see. Uh, right next to Citizen Kane. Never seen that. I've never seen... Um, I've never seen Citizen Kane, nor do I know... Nor do I know what it's about. Nor do I know anything about it. Like, it's somehow I've managed to avoid spoilers for, like, one of the most famous movies ever made. Uh, I've never seen the movie where the lady, uh, like, um, I've never seen Logan's Run. Uh, but I want to see Logan's Run. It's good. I've heard it's a good movie. Um, that's the one where the guy lives in a world where, like, after you cross a certain age threshold, they kill you. Um, for reasons. Uh, even though, like, it's a noted fact that, like, elderly people actually play an important role in, uh, the hierarchy of human society. Passing on information and helping with, uh, child rearing. I mean, you know, I'm not an expert on human society here, but it seems like it seems like the kind of thing that you would want to preserve would be extra help with children. Garbage. I actually just want junk. Like, because I get junk, every junk I get increases the likelihood that it'll be Sir Junkin at some point. Uh, the cactus is not a very good gun. It's fast. And it has lots of ammo, which actually makes it a good candidate for um, the metronome. Really excited to play Darkest Dungeon today, and I'm also uh, I downloaded Pit People, so I'm excited to take a look at that, and play it a little bit. Uh, I know that the, um, it's in early access right now, and I know that the early access content's, like, curated, right? Um, and that it's, like, not reflective of what's gonna be in the final game, from what I understand. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the bosses are the hardest part of the blessed runs, because every now and then I'll get stuck in a boss fight with a weapon that I do not like using in boss fights, like the syringe. Oh god, kill me now, please. Light pistol's not bad. I can get through this boss fight without getting my ass kicked. Um, I'll be happy. The bolster, they must have buffed him at some point, because he used to be fucking chump change, and now, like, the bolster's like one of the most stressful bosses on this floor. It makes me happy that I don't fight him very often anymore. Um, which actually, if you'd asked me, like, three episodes ago, like, I'd have told you that I was, like, kind of bummed I'm not fighting the bolster anymore, because, like, I used to think he was super easy. Now he's, like, actually quite difficult. Um, the problem is it's just, like, such a harrowing, like, fight. It's him, him and Amokanda are, like, two very, like, strange bosses. They have weird patterns. And the only reason his is weird is because he shoots out the little eye guys, and the little eye guys uh, throw off your dodging pattern really hard. If he didn't shoot the eye guys, he would be one of the easiest bosses in the game because his patterns would be, like, a couple cone attacks, and then a laser, and then... Like, the rockets are kind of... The rockets are also super annoying. Um, super annoying and borderline, like, too deadly for words. Um, lowercase r is awful, by the way. I thought there was, a like, a block here that was, like, blocking the top of the level. Like, from me being able to shoot up there. Uh, the revelation that it is not both scares and, uh, scares and excites me. Really need to get keys, man. We're getting the money, but we're not getting the keys, man. Which is actually driving me to believe that I probably should have bought the key on the last floor. Is that a fucking gold nut? Yo. Gold nut on a room out of nowhere? It's 50, 50 shells for free, essentially. There's a key. Get the key. Get the key. Alright, we got him. Good. I thought he was going to escape. I got really nervous. Woo, 
baby. All right. Looks good. Managed to a uh, spring heel boots have been unlocked. I don't know what those are. I don't, I don't have. I have no clue why I, I unlocked them. There we go. We're actually getting a ton of money. We're actually only one key off, so I actually I'll probably buy the key on this floor if there is one. Um, granted, the shop may be locked, and then that will like completely defeat the purpose of trying to buy a key on this floor. Um, I thought I think it was five and two hundred. I think that that was the amount. If that was not the amount, um, it's very likely that we will still get to that amount, to whatever amount it is. Because I remember it was in the two hundreds. I know that much. Um, hopefully we get more key kin. That would be nice. Get those guys. I love the Hex Rifle, by the way. It's probably my favorite gun in the game. Um, beating out things like the Mega Hand and stuff. Like, the Mega Hand's good, but, like, this does the damage. If we get, like, Muscle Relaxant and the Scope plus the fucking this, this gun, like, so good. Shotgun Full of Hate's a fantastic weapon. Shoots tons of poison rounds and uh, little exploding, like, nuts and stuff. Super good. Um... I think the shotgun full of love might be slightly better um, because it charms people, but it also shoots like fairly high damaging shotgun blast. Um, but both are good. I'm in a love hate relationship with it. Oh, 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 oh. Cute, 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 cute. That's how they laugh in Brazil, apparently, according to League of Legends. Winchester shotgun's pretty good. Uh, biggest problem with it, short range. Um, not that I'm complaining, I mean, it's still like a good gun, it's just... Every gun's got a flaw, and the Winchester's happens to be that it has very, very short range. Um, the Blunderbuss' problem is that it's a charged weapon that does shit damage. At some point, we're gonna get Sir Junkin again, and we already have, like, seven or eight stacks of junk. That, like, we're just gonna, like... Put directly into him, and then he's gonna get a sword immediately and kick some ass. Kick some ass and take some names. Ooh, alien engine. Oh, don't alien engine yourself right into that bullet, please. So junkin? Nope, just more junk. That's okay. Ooh, hi. How's it going? Ooh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't use alien engine like that anymore. Was generally a bad idea. That's not true. It's a fun idea. Nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun. It, it just makes you get around faster. Not that I'm like timed on this floor. Like we're not. It's not like uh, the Finding of Isaac, where like if we don't beat the floors in a certain amount of time, we don't get access to like boss rush or something like that. This is like you have to like just do it. Just do it. Don't tell me what to do. Just tell me what to do. All right, Cannonball Rock, starting with the Membrane. Not a bad opening gambit for Cannonball Rock. Oh, we're hit, so fuck it. I, I, I guess we're, we're hosed for Cannonball Rock today. Yeah, that's, that was my bad. I should have blanked much sooner and just like, walked around him. I broke my one rule about fighting bosses, which is don't get jammed up against the wall while they're attacking you. Luckily, I practiced the dodges for this thing without using the uh, the secret cheese door. Because they, as you guys are aware, they've taken away my secret cheese door. And I'm like, but why though? I needed my cheese door. The cheese door made the fucking high priest so much easier. Oh, oh don't, don't burn yourself to death, please. So... The, uh, the Dark Marker uses up an entire... It uses up ten bullets when you do the, um, this thing, that thing, right? Um, but the question is, does it use up ten bullets or does it use up the remainder of the clip, right? So, like, if it uses up the remainder of your clip, I wonder if, like... Oh, that's, uh, make sure. I wonder if, um, you, uh... 
like if you were to say blow down to like one bullet left um if like you could probably make it so that um it didn't waste as much ammo when you use the dark marker bonus effect the charge damage um the cactus huh well cactus is all good what is that oh utility belt sweet we gotta pass it uh utility belt's good all capacity up means that we can carry uh extra items and extra everything if we feel like it um not that we have extra anything to really carry around with us right now like it, so it's not like that useful at the moment but it could get there take a sip of water chamber four of the hollow i'm pretty sure we have the money for this right now so i would like to dump all of this so that way we can uh 240 so we need what 40 more shells. We could probably get that over the course of this floor. I would hope we could get 40 shells over the course of this floor. 40 shells is not that many shells, all things considered. Ow. Fucking cactus. The cactus is a very interesting weapon, and uh, the more passive you have, the better it is. Um, but uh, it's so... It doesn't do very good damage, is the problem. Yeah, the problem is it doesn't do very good damage. But if you had some, like, fat bullets or stout bullets or something, like, if you had some, like, damage bonuses, it could be, it could really make good use of those, really pop off super hard. Getting the health is good. Really need the money, though. You guys could give me the money. Bring me the money! I don't know why I keep saying that, by the way. I'm just gonna put it out there. No idea. Not sure. I think I saw that in a movie once. I, I don't, I like, couldn't tell you what movie it's from. I fucking hate the pot gun, by the way. Uh, it's like one of my least favorite weapons in the whole game. We've had my favorite weapon in the whole game, and now we're gonna have my least favorite weapon in the whole game the pot gun. Just, uh, you know. The, the, this gun's super good, by the way. Um, I'm sad to see it go, actually. Alright, but, so the, the bonus, when the, when the smiley faces have sunglasses, that thing hits like a fucking truck. Um, which is, like, fantastic. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. And then it also benefits from, um, Kaga Battle. Um, which is, like, Super cool. So it has built-in Kaga Battle that then levels up the gun, and then it can also benefit from Kaga Battle. Which is like, you know, lots of fun. Right, give me the money. We're getting there. We only need 20 more. Well, 20, 23, sorry. Um We're getting there. Ow. Alright. Really need a the the I need to stop fucking around. The 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 pillowcase is not, like, the silencer, not a gun that I can, like, afford to dick around with. Because it's just, it's not good enough to dick around with. Um, and we're getting a little beat up, which, you know, is my bad. Because, you know, I was dicking around with the pillower. Trying to do the, trying to stun them with the, the pillow part. Like the part where you hit them with, the like, the actual pillowcase. Uh, which is not a good idea. This is a shotgun full of love. It does about as much damage as the shotgun full of hate. Um, with noted exception being that uh, it charms people instead of poisoning them. Which, to be honest, is a better... Charming them is better than poisoning them. The poison's fine. Uh, it's not like a bad effect. So, like, it's not bad enough where it's, like, actually a negative. Like, an overt negative. But charming them is actually a better effect. Um, only on this case. Um, like, the charm bow is still worse than the regular bow. But that's because the charm bow does less damage than the regular bow. If the charm bow did as much damage as the regular bow, uh, and still charmed people, it would be better than the regular bow. Um, by a lot, to be honest. Um, just because charming people, like, it's essentially, it's a defensive action and an offensive action at the same time. 
Um, so it's kind of hard to beat that for me. Um, because essentially charming somebody makes them hurt others. So it basically gives you a familiar. Uh, and then it also causes them to, uh, not be attacking you for a little bit, which is great. I really need to, like, get rid of some of these ads, to be honest. We really need to get rid of the shaman, to be honest. But the ads are causing me a little bit of undue stress here. That's just because I think I'm focused on the shaman too much. Since I'm in a blast run and ammo is not really, like, like a concern of mine at all. Um, Jesus is a friend of mine, though. Because Jesus is my friend. Um, yeah, since the ammo's not a concern, like, I can just shell the dudes that the shaman is buffing until they die. And not really concern myself with the consequences of that action at all. Uh, alright. Oh, okay, we got the thing. Let's let's go turn into the sin before I drop dead from soup from idiocy. And then we're actually opened up to like actually open chests and things, uh, but we probably still won't, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. Uh, fantastic. So that gives us uh, that's the fourth elevator done. Now we just need to do the fifth elevator. And I've been told that the fifth elevator is kind of a nightmare by some less than reputable sources. Not less than reputable. Oh, I died because I couldn't shoot that jammed uh, the jam shaman in time. Uh, you know what? That's uh, I'm glad I finished the elevator. Then uh, spring heel boots have been finished, and uh, let's go back to the breach. We'll talk to elevator man and see. Uh, See about what's going on with him. Let's go back as the hunter. I don't see any reason not to. Um, yeah, so we should, in theory, now have access to... What up, elevator man? Yeah, while well, I was working on the elevator, I found something useful. Uh, ooh, we got gun boots. I'm on the shaft, though, so who knows where it might turn up. Maybe you'll find it. I wonder what else is hidden in these shafts. What else? Oh, yeah, I found R2G2. I'm on the shaft, though, so maybe you'll find it. What else we got? We got the Gungeon. Oh, yeah. I was working on the elevator. I found something you might find useful, but it fell on the shaft. Sweet. So we actually unlocked a couple items there. Um, and now we just need to get to chamber five and get that taken care of. All right. Cool. And we unlocked a couple new guns. So I'll be excited to see that. I was wondering how you unlock the gun boots and the Gungeon and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so with that, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. We got a lot done, actually, uh, which, you know, it's a short episode, but we got shit done, so that's what really matters here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!